January 17th, so if you want to take part in that. Um, I also want to talk about changes that are going to be coming to this channel this year. Um, some new things that are going to be coming up. And I really would like your feedback. Again, you know, the comments are... Eventually this year, I may turn the comments back on. It looks like I've weeded out the problem children. So I may turn... But don't let the the fact that your comment won't pop up until I approve it discourage you from commenting on my videos. I still love your feedback and believe me I do read what you write obviously because if I have to approve it I have to read it. So I appreciate all the feedback that you give to me and let me know if you like something, if you don't like something. If you don't like it, I'd appreciate it more if you tell me what it is that you don't like about it instead of just giving me a thumbs down. Most of you don't. It was like the bad apples that were just like, oh, she sucks, thumbs down. I'm just going to thumbs down everything and ruin her rate, whatever. But as you can see from the other videos, they're mostly gone. Um, but it does help me to create more content about what you might be interested in. Now... Um, as you may know, at this point, I did get, uh, the place in St. Augustine. Um, I've been wanting to for a long time. Um, and I, I did finally get a place in St. Augustine. One of the things that I want to start doing is, um, tour haunted St. Augustine videos where I would do clips around St. Augustine um, and show you certain places where I personally have had <coughs> experiences and tell you about the experiences there, as well as uh, taking places where there are known to be hauntings to see if I can communicate with whoever is there. So that is something I'm interested in doing, and that could also help you guys in case you ever decide you want to visit St. Augustine, and I highly encourage it. Um, it's got like an old town feel, uh, with, I mean, it's a tourist place, but it has like a, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a tourist trap. It doesn't feel like Orlando. It doesn't feel like, um, like Martha's Vineyard. It doesn't feel like, um, uh, what's another good, like, tourist trap that I'm trying to think of, um, that's like really busy. It's, it's just not, I mean... There are certain times that obviously are, are going to have way more people, and I hate those times. But St. Augustine is like, it's it's kind of like a kitschy, it, it, it has like an artistic vibe, but then it has old world, it has a lot of different museums, it has a lot of culture and history. It's such an eclectic type place, and if you've never visited there, I advise that at least once. Um... I think you'd have a really good time, and especially with all the beautiful beds and breakfasts that they have there. Um, houses built at the turn of the last century, I and mean, gorgeous. Um, anyway, so that's one of the, the features that I want to start doing. Also, I was thinking about adding a feature called Ask a Famous Dead Person. Um, you know, and that kind of sounds like a little snarky, and they know I don't mean it that way. It's just, but it's to say, ask, ask a dead celebrity or something like that. Some of these people aren't necessarily celebrities. They are famous, they are infamous, but they're not necessarily what we would consider today to be celebrities. Um, I do have a number of notable spirits here. Um, names that you have all heard. Um, and some of them are, are very willing to come forward and answer questions and talk about their lives and, you know, express their thoughts on certain things. Um, so I'm curious.
focus if you could sit down and ask some questions about to a certain famous dead person throughout history who would you want to ask questions to um who do you want the real story from um you may have like a, a famous person that you've read a lot about and you're like is this really true did this really happen because you know towards to the victors right they write the history they write the history books so like if you want to know genghis khan the real story from genghis khan from his own mouth now whether now keep in mind not every famous person is still going to be on this plane some of them have crossed over and some of them i have even crossed over myself but if they are still here and they are able to come forward I could ask them some questions. So let me know what famous, and you can add, you can add as many to the list as you want. What famous people would you like to talk to? What famous person stoked your curiosity? Let me know and I can make up a list and I can see if that person's still here, see if they want to talk. And then I will announce throughout the year, hey, guess what? Uh, on this day, I'm going to be talking to this celebrity, so send in your questions for them, and we'll see what, well, I shouldn't say celebrity, this this person, and send in your questions. So that's another thing that I've been thinking about doing. Let me know your thoughts on that. Is that something you're interested in? Um, of course, we are going to keep doing the spirit interviews, and uh, I'm going to keep up with the witch boxes. And again, with the subscription witch boxes, we are going to start learning the necromantic arts. Uh, one of the things I said last year is that I wanted to delve into, stop it, that I wanted to delve into um, voodoo and start incorporating that. But the problem is, with voodoo, you are calling on the loas, and if you don't know what that means, we'll get into that later, to do your magic through your ancestors, through the dead. So basically, voodoo is all about necromantic magic. And I'm like, well, how can I teach you about voodoo if I don't teach you the tenets of necromantic magic? And that's basically, voodoo is basically all pretty much necromantic magic you're not generating it yourself you're asking intervention from the spirits to do it for you so that's pretty much all the voodoo is and that's why that's why this person when i, I started looking at voodoo they were like we were waiting for you to come around we knew you would and as i'm like delving into it more i understand why they knew i would come around to that because that's what i do now um, I just don't need the intervention of Loa's to do it for me. So they they were kind of like they were kind of laughing. They were like, "We knew you'd come eventually." Um, but I do believe that doing voodoo and incorporating that is part of me. It's it's part of your education. You have to understand how everything is interconnected for you to be proficient at what you're doing. And you're not ordering witch boxes just for trinkets and, and such. You have a curiosity. You want to understand this. And your education would be wasted and poorly taught if I didn't incorporate ways for you to understand how everything bridges all together and how it's all connected because then you're you would seriously be lacking and you would be missing out on huge amounts of understanding power um ability and as a witch to leave that out i would be ashamed to think of myself as a teacher or a mentor if 
I were to leave that out. So that's why we are going to start incorporating that into the witch, bo witch box, witch box subscriptions. There we go. All right. I think I need to get something in me because I think I'm drying out. Okay. Um. So that is what we are going to be looking for as we go through this year. Now I am working on the January witch boxes. Um, I will be sending out, I'm very sorry it's so late, but I will be sending out uh, the videos for the December boxes. I need to work on the videos for um, the January boxes. We are not working on a spell this month because it's kind of hectic here, like half of my Wicca stuff is packed up already. Um, what I am going to teach you is exercises in, um, starting to harness power so that you can work with necromantic magic. And that's what I would really like you to work on instead of, uh, worrying about recipes, um, witchcraft recipes this month. I really would like to focus on getting you started on how to harness power. So that's what that video is going to be this month for this month's, um, subscription boxes. And again, if you are interested in that, um, it's not too late to subscribe. Um, however, the boxes that I have for my subscribers now, they're pretty much ready to go. Everything else is packed away. So if you subscribe to the witch box now, you'll get the video, but your witch box won't come until like the end of the month when I can dig out the rest of the supplies and put a box together. Um... I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing I really was thinking about, maybe, is like an ASMR type of video series. Now I know that there is a Willow the Witch that does an ASMR type thing. Uh, but, and I've watched like ASMR, because I, I originally when I saw ASMR, I'm like, what the? Is this shit? You know, what? what? It, but, um, one thing that I've always liked is, you know, the sounds of, like, pencil cases. Uh, you know, all the pens and pens, <coughs> pens and pencils in a pencil case. Or game pieces. I love game pieces. Um, and one of the things that I've always, not so much found fascinating, but, I've always liked is watching somebody use their intellect. Um, I like to watch people solve puzzles or puzzle it out, um, you know, like a, a logic problem. I like to see how people's, and again, this goes with like bridging through everything in the universe. I like to see how they come to conclusions with things and how they solve problems. Um, I'm kind of a sapiophile, so, you know, but that is like, that and like the little clicky, I, I like games like Othello, Mastermind, Logic Puzzles, um, you know, thinking, chess, thinking games, and, um, I love the sound of the, the pieces, like the little plex, plastic pieces clinking together, and, um, I was thinking, I don't know, maybe if somebody is kind of like the same thing along the same lines that I am, I do have like a couple of different like logic puzzle games that I enjoy playing myself. And if that is something that you like the sound of game pieces, because I, I've watched these things and they're like tap, tap, tap and shuffle, shuffle up. Ugh, it's like fingernails down a chalkboard for me. I don't want to hear your tapping. I don't want to hear the sounds of like paper or like fingers on felt or something. I don't want to hear dragging sounds or tapping. It's annoying. And and whispers. Whispers just like, I don't know. It's like it's hard to, because a lot of people use ASMR to relax. And <clears throat> if I hear somebody whispering, I'm like, I'm not relaxing. I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? Is she talking shit about me? What, what, what it, I can't, I can't relax because I'm, I'm trying to like, what is, what, what's she saying? What's this? So it's annoying to me. But there are some that I listen to sometimes. When I'm having trouble sleeping, I'll put it on. 
like hair brushing. I like the sound of hair brushing, just as long as they don't do like, uh, uh like weird shit, like wh especially whispering I, or talking. I don't, I don't like that. But there are people that play, you know, these like logic games, and they're very quiet. They don't say a word. They just play the pieces. But on the flip side of that, <clears throat> I'll be watching this, and I'm like, no, you need to move this car. And they're like, they're not getting it. And I'm, I get frustrated. I'm like, what the f wrong with you? Move that other car. And so there goes relaxation. But, <laughs> but um, if that is something that you're interested in, if that's, you know, you listen to ASMR and you like the sound of that without the whispering, without the stupid tapping, without all that other you just want to hear you just want somebody that can solve the puzzles very quickly <laughs> and, and then all you hear is like the little tapping like the like the game pieces like the type sound um that's something i've been toying with as well so let me know your thoughts on that on your your thoughts on asmr um as well as ask a dead famous person and um, the Tour Haunted St. Augustine pieces. So let me know what you think about that. What you think is a good idea, who you want to talk to, all that stuff. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>